What's up, everyone? Michelle Alexandria. Don't forget our Star Wars contest just launched today. I'm giving away a copy of Star Wars on Blu-ray, courtesy of Disney Home Videos Mistake, because they were supposed to send me the 4K copy, but I was in the middle of moving, and I think I think my request got lost in the mail somewhere, so I went out and bought this out of my own pocket, Disney. So then, uh, after I bought my the same. After I bought my old, I bought this when I bought the OLED, and then I picked up a, and then the very next day, Disney sent over a copy of the Blu-ray. Blu -ray. I can't talk for some reason. So I'm giving away the Blu-ray. All you have to do to win, go to Eclipse Magazine, go to, go to our Twitter site, our Twitter account, at Eclipse Magazine, that's E-C-L-I-P-S-E -E Magazine, and it's Spell it down here. Go to Eclipse Magazine on Twitter. Send me a DM saying you want it. That's it. I'm not sure how I'm going to give this away yet. If I'm overwhelmed with requests, I'll split it into two and get one lucky winner the digital copy code and another the physical, the glorious physical media. Glorious, glorious. So, yeah, check it. Star Wars, The Last Jedi, now available on on the Blu-ray and 4K. Now, the, and once again, thank you, Disney, for sending this over. Um, we'll get it right next release. So, so again, thank you, Disney. Now, on to the topic at hand. I've been telling everyone I'm sick to death of hearing about OLED burning, OLED burning, OLEDs are gonna burn in. Aren't you scared of OLEDs being burned in? I'm like, hell no, no. I bought, I bought this little thing called a warranty and the little thing called a warranty for two years for, it was only 150 bucks, so I bought it. So I have no fear of, o, of OLED burning. Does it happen? Yes, it, but it doesn't happen to all OLED TVs, which a lot of idiots are, are claiming. So in this episode of OLED Myth Busting, I am gonna try something really different. And normally I wouldn't do something as stupid as this, but I'm gonna try it because again, I just bought this TV two weeks ago. So I still have another three weeks with it um, through Best Buy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my own burning test, Michelle's burning. Now, if I was, wasn't so lazy, I would have like flames shooting out of my head, out all over the TV and fireworks going off, but nope, I'm too lazy to do all of that. So. Just imagine it in your head. Imagine the fireworks going off and flames coming up here as I announce Michelle's OLED burning test. So, again, as I have to keep telling you all, I'm not a technology reviewer. I'm not a professional TV calibrator. I am just a Joe Jane average consumer who needs a TV. That's it, that's all I am. Just an average consumer who needs a TV. Once my TV situation is settled, you will probably never see another TV review from me. Until the next time I go through this hassle of trying to buy a TV. And the worst part about modern TV buying is 4K and HDR is kind of a mess and trying to find the perfect TV is impossible. Whereas with 1080p, you can just walk in the store and buy any old damn t 1080p TV and you don't have to worry about stuff. Your expectations are set way lower um, and the picture was kind of uniform across the board, across all 1080p TVs, but that's not the case with 4K HDR. So what I want to do with, the, with Michelle's OLED burning test, again, imagine the fireworks and the flames shooting out, um, is I want, to test, I want to test this theory out myself. It's not going to be scientific. I do not want to hear any complaints or whining about how I decide to do this. This is my TV, and I'm going to do this burning test however the heck I want to. So what I'm going to try to do is, it's Friday. Uh, what month are we? Oh, God. I got to do taxes this weekend. Oh, my God. I don't even get started on taxes. But anyway, I am going to, it's Friday, August or April 13th. From this point on, and it's night. Let me check my. It, it is six. It's six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my TV running for a full week, 
from this Friday to next Friday. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, like, when I go to bed at night during the weekend and when I'm at work during the week, because I do have a job, so I have my dream job. So that's why I moved to Florida. But I'm going to leave my TV on for an entire week. And when I'm not home and I'm not uh, watching my own programs or playing games, I am going to leave this TV on MSNBC because I can't stand CNN, I can't stand Fox News or any of that garbage. So I'm just going to leave it on MSNBC, leave it on my favorite mode, which is Vivid, um, while I'm gone or while I'm sleeping. And then when I come back home, I'm just going to play, I'm just going to use it as I normally would. And at the end of the week, I want to know if there's going to be any burning or any retention or any of that kind of crap. Midweek, I may do a video probably like next Tuesday or Wednesday, doing a check-in, letting you guys know how the contest is going, how, how the burn-in is going. And I will also promote this again. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. I don't know what I'm doing. And, and actually, at my job yesterday, um, I won this whole Star Wars figurine set, which was amazing. And like an idiot, I gave away to this. I gave it away to one of the interns because he was so sad not to not to win it. So I was trying to be nice and play it forward. So pay it forward. So I actually gave it to him, and I I made a young man really happy. I made this entire week. But the minute I got home, I regretted that decision. Damn me and my niceness. So anyway, the test is going to begin right now. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave my TV on from Friday, on April 13, 2018, through next Friday. And I'm just going to have, I'm going to use it like I normally would, except when I go to bed, I'm going to turn it to MSNBC or, or one of those news stations. I'll turn it to MSNBC because that's the less offensive, you know, cable 24-hour news crap. Um, so I'm going to leave it on MSNBC for eight hours a day, and then I'm just going to come home, and I'm going to play the TV and treat the TV as normal, as I normally do. I'm going to, I'm going to do some PlayStation gaming. I'm going to, I may buy, pick up an Xbox One X again this weekend and do a little Xbox One X action because I, I want to finish Call of Duty, damn it. And I don't want to pay, I don't want to spend any money on it because the, uh, don't get me started on that. So anyway, that is going to be the OLED burning test. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, I guess leave them. But I'm not an expert, so it isn't, it isn't like I'm going to be able to answer your questions. Just spare me the suggestions. If you want to ask questions or leave like good, intelligent comments, that's awesome. But don't bitch at me about how I do this suggest things that I should be doing, or tell me about burning or any of that crap. I know the TV, some OLEDs have burning. I don't need you clowns uh, need like 20 messages telling me, oh, but OLEDs have burning. That's the whole point of this test. And if it has burning, I would be the first to admit, my God, my TV has burning. But I won't be upset because A, it's still within, within the return window, and B, I have a warranty. So either way, it doesn't impact me at all. And I would just buy a new TV, another TV, maybe LCD monitor. It certainly won't be a Sony, though, because I, I hate Sony. Although I am really tempted to get the 65-inch um, 930E, but that damn TV only has one freaking HDMI port that supports gaming system consoles. I'm like, that's just garbage. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Don't forget... Star Wars. Just go to uh, just go to Eclipse Magazine. Leave a DM letting me know you want it, or leave a tweet or something. But leave a DM and just clearly state you want you're trying to enter this contest. That's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.